Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Just here to pop down our card for the week. Sorry, things have got a little bit kind of um, busy here today. So I'm a little bit later putting this uh, video up. So I'm just going to have a little shuffle, have a little look and see what we've got this week. Okay, so the card we've got from the Faulkner deck this week is The World. Now, it's interesting because um, one of the uh, groups that I belong to is a group that is run by the person that taught me um, Faulkner Tarot. And she puts up a card each day, and this is her card for today. So I'll link her stuff down below because she's actually really, really good. So if you're looking to learn the tarot or learn this particular deck, um, look her up because she's great. I'll put a link down below to her page. Um, so the world talks about um, a really um, nice energy. I really like the energy of the world. The, the world talks about... Um, coming to the end of a cycle, completion. Um, but it also talks about the world kind of being your oyster and of anything in the world being possible. It's a really broad card. So it kind of talks about all kinds of energy that is positive. I mean, the world does talk about things coming to a conclusion, the end of a cycle. So, you know, if you've had things in your life that have... Um, you know, spirit of been running their course. This is the end of that course, and it then opens up all of these new um, directions for you. These new options. So really, really good, strong, positive card. The world, and it did. You know, to me, when I see the world, it talks about the world being your oyster. So really, really good card for the beginning of the week. So you know, as a card for the week, I would say keep your options open. Um, know that you have all of this world to explore. Now, we, we don't all feel like that at the moment, do we? Because, you know, we're quite constrained still. I'm in the UK, we're in the middle of this COVID thing. And it would suggest that, you know, we don't have the world to explore at the moment. Um, but, you know, I've said this before on here, you're not constrained in your imagination and yeah you know we can't travel the the energy of the world would would often talk about travel um but there's nothing to stop you planning there's nothing to stop you imagining the places that you want to go you know start yourself a little savings account with just a little amount each week to pay for the next big trip that you want to take um then you feel like you're kind of taking steps to get there so yeah of course you know you might not um be able to go right now but you can be doing things that might enable you to go later on you know get yourself some travel books have a look at the places that you'd like to see L you know go on youtube look at people's travel videos see where they're going see where they've been see if there's any way you fancy nothing to stop you using your imagination to um open that up and and just be able to imagine um, and also to just kind of believe that the world really is your oyster. You can do anything um, that you want to do. So I'm just going to have a little shuffle of this Lightseers deck. This is the deck that I'm using for May. Um, you can see the box there in the background. That's the Lightseers deck by Chrisanne. It's published by Hay House. Um, the other deck I use is the Black and White Faulkner deck. Um, that I always use. So let's just have a little look and see what we've got in this lovely light sears deck. What I would say about this deck is if you really like colour, um, it's a great deck because it's so colourful. It really is a great, a great deck. So with the lovers, so Again, the lovers, you know, does what it says in the tin. It does talk about love. It talks about passion. But it also talks about choices and um, you having choices. So, you know, like I said, a lot of people feeling constrained. You do have choices, though. You have choices about whether you continue to 
if you have been believing that, that believing that you're really trapped or expanding your um, imagination and using all of those skills, you know, meditation, guided visualizations, all those sort of things can really kind of free you, even if you're not free. Um, so, you know, the lovers talks about that can be making a choice to look at things in a different way. Um, it's a great love card if you are looking for love. This says that you will have choices around your love life. There is passion there. Um, really good, strong um, energy with the lover's card. I always think that the two of cups is much more a kind of true love and emotion card, whereas the lover's is more of a passion. To me, anyway, that's how I read it. That's how the, the energy comes through to me. Um, so, you know, don't forget that you have choices, even though you feel, you may feel that you are, you don't have all the choices that you would have normally. You do still have choices about how you approach things, how you think about things, um, what you choose to believe about things. Um, you know, so there's a lot of, of quite deep stuff going on with those two cards. So it's a kind of a week where you might find that you've got quite a lot of processing, thought processes and stuff, you're working through stuff, thinking about how you feel about all this all this stuff that's going on. Um, but, you know, the world really is your oyster when that card comes up. So that's a really good, strong, positive energy for the week. And, you know, make some good choices for yourself is what the lovers said. I'm just going to have a little shuffle of Brian's deck. Brian's deck is an oracle deck that goes with the Faulkner deck, but it does, it stands alone too. It's a great deck to use with them both together, or you can just use Brian's deck on its own. You can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to have a little shuffle. Put down a Brian card for us. Okay, so Brian... Is saying you need to look more deeply, look into this more deeply. So, you know, things aren't as hoped for. So let's try and see what's at the bottom of this. Don't give up, but listen to what's going on around you. So I think that with this particular card, um, I kind of feel like I just want to not, not take on too much of what other people are banging on about. Um, you have to kind of um, work things through for yourself. I mean, there are a lot of, a lot of really, um, I don't know, a lot, of, a lot of really negative energy and a lot of really kind of scary stories, I guess, um, that get told. And I think you have to try and filter out what a applies to you and what doesn't I mean yes we all have to take the guidance that we're being given by the authorities and stuff absolutely we do um but you know you have to kind of work out what is right for you too um so you know if something doesn't feel right to you if something is not feeling quite right then go with what your gut instinct is telling you um that's how I feel about that card, to be honest, is to be more in tune with your gut instinct so that you can make the right choices for yourself. Um, so it feels to me as if I'm, I'm what my guide's kind of giving me and what I'm feeling is that you just have to kind of be aware of what's going on around us and make the right choices for us. Now, they might not be the right choices for other people, um, but it's important that we make the right choices for ourselves, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, just feel your, with your gut instinct, feel with your, you know, solar plexus, what is right for me, um, in this instance. Um, I'm not here to guide you or give you you know, advice on what to do about this current scenario because I don't know any more than you do. Um, but what I do know is that your inner guidance and your solar plexus, that kind of feet, that those feelings won't lead you too far astray. So, you know, just kind of 
tune into those so that you know what is best for you, what is right for you. Um, obviously, be mindful of others, um, but know what is right for you. So I will leave that where that is for now. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.